So I wonder where, where it is. Who's back? Everything go all right with the exam? Ah, so these are your numbers that just came through then. You ready to hear how you did? Then let's get to them. So, looking at the data, checked out a few of the murals. Good. A test of preparation and thoroughness. To trace the Vanguard values highly. He's probably just cheddar picking the good things. Levels. Navy doesn't have room for folks that'll fall apart the first time they're trying to outrun a homing missile. Now, how'd you do against your foes? Tier 4. Not too shabby. The techs make us test each level of the sim, too. I can tell you that way were some real artificial bastards. Good job putting them away. So then, looking at your results as a whole, and presuming you're successful in completing your probationary mission, you could have your UC citizenship after only... Ten years service. Ten, ten years Pretty service. standard for combat assignments. But your performance in the simulator does mean I can offer a signing bonus. Help convince you to join the cause. So, sounds to me like we've got Vanguard material on our hands. Ten, ten years you're combat missions and you then you get one the citizenship. You member today. Get you the mm. credits you've earned, then send you out on your probationary mission. First, though, all UC service people, provisional or otherwise, are required to swear an oath. So, you want to make this official? Commit yourself to the cause of the colonies? Fantastic. Then just follow me. I suppose this is mandatory. Wouldn't be right doing this where we couldn't see the skies. Now, raise your right hand. The motto of the Vanguard is Supra et Ultra. Above and beyond. That is where we serve. Beyond the furthest reaches of the United Colonies military. And with honor and duty above reproach. Do you swear to protect and defend the citizens of the United Colonies to the best of your abilities? And to uphold the values of the Vanguard. Honor, loyalty, self-reliance in all your actions as a member of the United Colonies Navy? I'm not normally in the big into commitment, but for you, fine. <laughs> yeah, I do. Then let me be the first to officially welcome you to the United Colonies Vanguard. Now, only thing left is getting you that probationary mission. Yeah, okay. And what I've got is comms repair. Group trying to refurb an old colony war processing plan on Tau City 2. Sounds like they'd barely gotten set up when their communications died. I suppose somebody else Place died. Is as well. isolated as they come. So Brass wants a vanguard to deliver the repair suite and ensure anyone present is safe and secure. So, can the people of Tau Ceti II count on you? That's the spirit. Head down to the spaceport and talk to Crew Chief Harath. He'll get you the repair suite plus your new recruit kit. New recruit oh, kit. Oh, and nice. your advance. Nice. Give it your all out there. Supra et ultra. Super. here at all. Pull it for leeches, get it fixed up, and let her know we'll have it ready as soon as we can. Yes, sir. Ah, you are new probationary then? Crew Chief Herath, pleasure to be working with you. It's my job to make sure all you rocket jockeys are ready for anything that comes at you up there. Now, Manifest says we're fitting you out with one comms repair suite. In addition to the standard issue welcome kit all probationary pilots get for their first mission. Med packs, some small arms, couple spare ship parts, all the essentials uh, ship in parts case are of any surprises. Pretty useful. My people will have everything on your ship before you lift off. Won't even know they were there. Hmm. So, paying a visit to the people of Scenic Tau City 2. Nice easy one for your first job. Just keep your head on swivel and you'll come home safe. Any questions before you head out? I honestly didn't realize it had people living on it until we got your recorder. 
Report they gave us seemed clean. No known hostile outposts. But I wouldn't say that's permission to let your guard down. Just watch out for wildlife and pirates. Keep those med packs handy and you'll be fine. Then I won't keep you. Make us look good out there, recruit. Ah, love the smell of getting back into the harness. I've uh, got some stuff on my mind. When you have the time. Okay, what's it on Sorry, your mind? Sorry, I plain forgot what I wanted to talk with you about. <laughs> that girl. If Cora leaves her tools out one more time. I mean, I love her more than life itself, but I can only say the same damn thing so many times. <laughs> uh, that's Cora to a T. I mean, this is between me and you. But Cora wasn't exactly planned. Okay. I don't know if I mentioned, but I served a spell in the Freestyle Rangers. Yeah. Had a partner. Lillian Hearts. Well, we were like fire and ice, but, uh... Well, it wasn't all bad. It wasn't always like it is now. Hell, you know, when Cora was born, I was completely out of my depth. For the first few months, I kept thinking, what a colossal mistake I made. Me. A father. But one late night, early morning, whatever, little Cora gave me my first smile. And I knew I'd do anything for that girl. Yeah, yeah, big old mean Sam Coe loves his daughter. Alert SSNN. <laughs> There's something you said to me about parents wanting children to learn from their mistakes. Now that Cora's getting older, that's, that's what haunts me. I've, uh, I've done things I'm not proud of. I <laughs> said things even worse. I try to be better for Cora, but is she gonna fall into the same traps? Well, ain't that a drop of sunshine. <laughs> yep. I know it seems crazy towing her across the stars, but I'm not exactly swimming with options here. Her mother... Like I said, another story, another time. Yeah, what what happened what, to her mother? What happened Jacob, my dad? I'd sooner ship her off to Vladimir. Yeah. I can, I can see that. You think? Well, she does say the damnedest things. And if she just learned to pick up after herself, she just might live until she's 13. Yep. Ahoy, Captain. Hello. Books. <sighs> Do you have more books, or can you buy me more books? With real pages, a spine, the whole package. My book allowance is all gone, and Dad won't get me more. So, books? Hey, uh, don't let her con you out of more credits. Her book allowance damn near bankrupted me. Dad, this is between us. <laughs> oh, 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 Dad, you've made the best friend ever. <laughs> well, now you've done it. Now you can get pestered about books nonstop. Yeah, a small price to pay for my education. Now the important question. Pizza. Favorite topping? And please don't Kids. say cheese. Dad loves boring old cheese. Cheese. I like meat. Did you hear that, Dad? Meat! We have <laughs> okay, meat she, she likes meat. <laughs> we could always get one of each. <laughs> No, you lose. <laughs> I have decided that I will stay. You have the Cora stamp of approval. I, uh, seem to have left my stamp back on Dad's ship. But imagine it there, on your arm. Cora approves. Okay. Stamps for children. <laughs> Set of stars. 
Um, I think I was, uh, I suppose, after sauna, sauna today. Respond immediately to, or tonight. The consequences. Okay, spacer, go ya. Why is it going so wrong? Kids of, of five, no, ten of them! Ten children! <laughs> so tell them their names, all of them. Pathetic to kill, leave. Yes, so pathetic. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, hi highlight of my day. So, I think you're making yourself pretty used to the right ship, Cor. I have, Dad. I want to be as good a co pilot for the captain as I am for you. Well, you're doing a great job, Strength Being Proud. What do you say if we get you a new outfit next time we're planet side? It still fits, Dad. And I love it. Now, a new book. <laughs> okay. Looks like organics aren't gonna be a problem here. Good day, Captain. Okay. This is this is uh, Earth like planet. What the hell knocked him over? Oh, not good. Still not seeing the smoking gun or whatever it is. Okay, that's a... Uh, okay, that doesn't, didn't sound good and that's... That ship is seen better days. What do we got here? Well, she's a Martian. Be one of the settlers. Or that red, red eyes. You see on patrol, maybe? Yeah, make my day if you said you were a shock trooper out for a stroll. Vanguard, huh? Yeah, I expect they didn't. I'm Hadrian. I'm a. I was a researcher with the UC. I, I came here on a rumor of a. Well, I expect you saw the results on your way in. What's left of the settlers? The work of Oxisio Machina. A terramorph. One of the nastiest aliens humanity's ever crossed paths with. And this one, well, it's something of an anomaly. Possibly a worrying one. A terramorph here? That is very, very bad news. Man, I wish I was you. I'd love to not know a damn thing about them. Among apex predators, they're the pinnacle. Resilient, agile, smart. And their mental prowess only increases with age. Some can even dominate the minds of weaker species, 
keeping them as pets, livestock, or toys. Uh, interesting. <laughs> They're creatures without peer. <laughs> I sure could. Because to confirm my suspicions about this creature, I'm going to need a tissue sample from it. And to get that, I need its corpse. But there is a way we can give ourselves an edge against this thing. The plant security system. The admin terminal's here in this building, but it needs its connection reset. And as I found out, that's not a one-person job. But if you can make it to the security outpost and restore the connection, I think I can get things back online. See if the settlers left us any other tools. The settlers outfitted most of the buildings with turrets at some point. Not sure how many are still operable, but at least a few appeared to be in fighting shape. And there were also some sensors scattered around the facility that I didn't recognize. But those are honestly all just educated guesses until we get the connection reset. Good. Once I see the connection reset, I'll get things underway on my end. Take care of yourself out there. And make sure you leave enough of that thing for us to get a sample. Overfold. <clears throat> Connection restored. I'll make this quick. Hmm. Plant's turrets took a beating. But I should be able to get you a couple of kill lanes. Just get the thing to chase you down the alleys between the buildings, and you'll lead it right into a crossfire. Hello. I wish I'd found this earlier. Those sensors around the facility? Part of a livestock tracking system. Should let you keep tabs on how close the Terramorph is. Better we get it than someone else. Not connected to this network. There should be a terminal in the adjoining room. Tune it to So there's one, there's two. Action time. Yeah, yet chat packs for the win. That's a killing lane down there. Okay, Sam, Sam is still alive. That's probably good. Okay, 44 meters. Bear. 31 meters. Six meters. 
meters. So I wonder where, where it is. Oh no. Yep. Can burrow. Hey, we actually did it. The constellation has skills. This deserves a victory lap. Trekker's gone quiet. I suspect it's either hiding or. Wait, you did it, didn't you? <laughs> Heavens above! You just flatlined a terror morph. Thank you for saving my I'm ass. I'm not too proud. Thank you for saving my ass. <laughs> you didn't happen to grab me a tissue sample, did you? All right. I spotted a microscope downstairs. Let's see if we can't get to the bottom of this. Okay, so this might escalate a bit. Fragmentation mod. Where did she go? Oh, over there. I got a sprain from jumping around. Okay. Understandable. That that can actually happen. <laughs> but what if it's not the only one? This would be like really interesting <laughs> plot twist. Although, although I'm, I'm thinking that there's going to be some kind of plot twist. Older model. Okay, let's see what you can do. Running basic diagnostics. Nothing. Maybe a flag scan. No. Spectrograph. This equipment, it's not set up to do a proper analysis of our sample. But this terramorph being here, of all places, it doesn't make sense. Humanity's spread plenty of creatures in our travels across the stars. Pets, livestock, pests. Okay. But terramorphs, they're different. How? To our knowledge, no one's ever spread them intentionally. Yet somehow, they follow us. She's right. Everyone's got theories about them, but no one has the answer. So when humans settle a world, 70 to 100 years later, terramorphs tend to just appear. No one knows how or why. Dangerous, but at least predictable. Talcetti, though, it's too young to have a native population. It's only been colonized 20 years. But then the other option, that someone captured one of the deadliest predators in the galaxy just to wipe out some settlers minding their own business? That seems awfully implausible. Which means we're either looking at a truly strange murder or a faster type of terramorph growth, the results of which could be catastrophic. Terramorph outbreaks have taken down far bigger colonies than this one. Well, they're not exactly buying tickets and flying coach. 
The theory is that they're spread by some kind of egg or seed that's able to evade our detection. But how the hell an undetectable egg turns into a terramorph without anyone noticing is a question no mm, one's they, ever they found seem an to answer to. Work like a bio it's why what's happened here could be real bad news for the rest of human civilization. And they have. They even took down an entire city once. A place called Londinian had to be quarantined due to a massive outbreak during the colony war. It's the only known loss of that scale, but it's the reason why any change in our relationship with these creatures needs to be taken very seriously. There is. I mean, there has to be. And we just have to find it. Time was, I had access to one of the best repositories of Terramorph research in the galaxy. Seems a natural place to start looking, if I can figure how to access it. But we also need to get this sample properly analyzed. Get confirmation on just how concerned we should be. Luckily, I think I know just the person to help with the sample. What would you say to delivering this to him for me? Well, of course. I'd do it myself, but I need to call in some favors. See if I can't get access to that Terramorph data. <sighs> Plus, maybe just pop by a hospital for a little bit. Clear it with your commander first if you have to. You can even show them this. My gene tag. Tell them Hadrian Sanan is worried there could be more attacks on the horizon. They should recognize the name. Oh, you don't understand what a weight off my shoulders that is. I need Dr. Percival Walker to put together a sample analysis for this thing. Full workup. He'll know what that means. I'm not sure exactly where to find him, but last I heard, he was contracting with the Trade Authority on Mars. There's a place called the Sixth Circle in Sidonia. A bar run by some old friends. I'll meet you and Percival there. And... here. It's not a lot, but you've definitely earned it. Should cover the cost of fuel to Mars, at least. Now please, go check in with your commander. We need to know what we're dealing with. Look who's back. All set with that... A terror? What? How did you walk away with the terror morph tissue sample running comms repairs? What happened to the settlers? Gene tag. Let me see that. Hmm, Sanan. I know that name. Let me check the database. Huh. A lot of this data has been classified. Here we go. Service record. Wow. That's a lot of commendations. Seems like she served with distinction as co head of a UC Xeno weapons division. Okay. Uh, tribunal at the end of the colony war. It was dismissed from duty. Ah, uh, one of those. Yes, that's why I'd heard the name before. If she's former Xeno warfare, though, well, we can at least be sure she knows her aliens. I'm sure she doesn't list it at the top of her resume. Yeah. But considering I wonder. her service record and her area of expertise, I'm not seeing a reason to think this request is anything other than genuine. Did your survivor, Hadrian, does she mention why she thinks this sample is so special? She thinks there could be more of these? Well, this is one of the more surprising debriefs I've ever been a part of. Quite a but first if mission. If Adrian thinks this sample needs to get to Mars, then we're going to make sure it gets to Mars. I'll take care of the clearances and ensure you get your credits. Consider these your first official orders. And here, so everyone knows you're working with the Vanguard. Welcome to the Navy, Captain. Vanguard's also got some custom ship modifications. You'll be cleared for access to him next time you're down at the spaceport. Talk to ship services. Oh, well, you're ready. Now, mm. if there wasn't anything else, I suggest you move out. You see Vanguard. Space suit. Okay, now we look like a part. So Vanguard is like... 
they have brought their base and okay, Vanguard logo at the at the shoulder badge. Used to think I was Vanguard material. Not many places older than Aquila. This old stories, old planet. Invoices can be collected from the. Oh, not here for a delivery, are you? What gave it away? Captain Captain John Rifleman. Do you know? Well. I do wish I could help you, Captain, but Dr. Walker has been missing for some time. Oh, of course he is. A shame, too. We had such high hopes for Percival. I brought him on myself to do medical and biological consulting around the city. Not the sort of work the Trade Authority traditionally does. But we thought it had the potential to become a whole new type of revenue stream for our branch. I invested no small amount of personal capital into the endeavor. But then he decided to run off after a discipline issue. I presume the miners have him hidden somewhere. <laughs> Plenty of cracks on this old rock. But at this point, it's probably for the best. Dr. Walker decided to start brewing and selling his own pharmaceuticals to our customers below cost something his contract expressly forbade as such we requested our cut of the profits and began garnishing his salary perhaps a little too severely but well within legal limits it was around then that he ran off abandoning his duty and his unpaid accounts that's correct we're no longer interested in Dr. Walker's services. He did leave his post, however, with a sizable debt to his name. If you were to find him and get him to pay, the Trade Authority would be most grateful for it. Ah, oh, someone owes you bloodthirsty leech's money? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that's rude of me. I should apologize for insulting the leeches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, get your own damn money. Looks like you could use the exercise. Yeah. <laughs> Pity. <laughs> Perhaps a little advance on my part might pique your interest. Visit the Sixth Circle, a bar on the lowest level of the city. Yeah. If someone in Sidonia knows where Percival is, you'll find them there. Uh, when the time's right, I'd appreciate a chat. Yeah, sorry if I'm a little out of it. Didn't get much sleep last night. Yeah, okay, bye. Lillian and me, uh, I tried talking with her and I lost my cool. Got a little heated. <sighs> I know I woke Cora up. <sighs> no, no, I'm careful about that. I mean, I try and not put down Lillian with an earshot, which, well, isn't that hard, really? Ah, Lillian, she's an incredible woman, truly. But it is always, and I mean always, about the job. And when she bleeds, free star colors spill out. And back when I was a ranger, we were quite the team. Okay, what happened? Yeah, I'm meant to be on my own. Exploring the great beyond. It calls to me. Maybe it's Solomon saying hello. But one day, I was just done. No particular reason. It had been building for a long time. She so tried to convince Lillian to leave it behind, come with me. She shot me down. Hard. Hurt my pride. More than a little. But she was probably right. Eh, we were making each other miserable. And that war on poor Cora, too. It's funny, our latest argument started because Lillian thinks I'm putting Cora in too much danger traveling with you. Well, you what you told me. That we Cora are fighting pirates. With, all this. with Sarah, and they're you, 
Heck, even Walter. I just know Cora has futures I could never dream of. But Lillian, not so much a fan of you. That kind of set me off. Man, don't be. It's always something. Cora's been stood up a time or two by Lillian. Always for the best reasons. Last time I think Lillian got a medal for it. But at a certain point, Lillian's excuses don't matter. Poor Cora cried for a week. I don't want to put her through that again. Shared <laughs> partners. Uh, no. Parentship. Well, that's that's hard. I mean, pretty hard choices here. Uh, given. If I do that, you all might want to invest in some industrial strength earplugs. Yeah. And for now, Lillian's going straight to voicemail. So everyone can sleep easy. Okay, he's giving her a silent treatment. Tired of commuting from distant systems to Sidonia every day? Lunch. Condominium has premium apartments of this. Whether you need single, have a depressing double, effect or on family occupancy. Broken spears upstairs. Go drown yourself there. This bar is for devil's vets and their kin. Doc Walker? Well, you're barking up the wrong... Andy, you, why don't you come here and tell me what some stray wants with you? It's really, really hard not to stare into their eyes. Shit, I'm doing it again. <laughs> not every day a stray topsider wanders into my bar claiming they know people. What do you want with Dr. Walker? If that tags a forgery, it's a damn Is good Sano in the picture over right. there, behind him? Maybe she did send you. Or maybe you just know where to buy your fakes. But look, even if I decided I was going to help you get in contact with Dr. Walker, Percival made himself scarce for a reason. His debt to the Trade Authority. But if someone resolved that debt, well, Percival wouldn't have to hide anymore. Okay. I bet that person would make a friend out of Percival, and the rest of us devils. And I'm always inclined to help a friend. Red Devils were the meanest marine unit the UC Navy ever had. Couldn't get in if you hadn't done at least one stint as a Martian Dusty. Made us tough, reliable. Okay, Martian they chose us as the handlers for the UC Xeno weapons. Ah, no other unit could handle that pressure. Percival, though, he wasn't a grunt like all of us. A science officer made sure the monsters behaved themselves around the devils, and didn't with everyone else. But it was those monsters that did us in. When the colony war ended, the armistice came down. Everything associated with Xeno weapons got shelved, Red Devils included. Now, ah, now they're just a memory. Well, the most straightforward way to take care of this debt would be to just saunter up to the authority and pay him direct, if you've got credits to throw away. Of course, rumor is the Trade Authority keeps all their records and collections files on a central server inside their storeroom. Okay. If someone was to break in there and adjust Percival's debt to something a little more reasonable, say, a few hundred credits, I'd be happy to cover the costs. I mean, clearly that's a crime. And doing it would just be terrible. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, one friend of Hadrian's to another Sidonia's full of old utility spaces. Wouldn't be surprised if there was one that let out right into the authority storeroom. Say, with an entrance behind the bar at the Broken Spear. Ooh, and you might need these. <laughs> they are quite helpful. And I look forward to hearing the good news. Article 
Hey, you may be Adrian's friend. Come here, Richard. Yeah, she she's there. So Red Devils. This is the team. Yep. Heard you talking with Lou, so you're going to help Dr. Walker? Yep. Yeah, sure, sure. Listen, I know how you can do it without having to resort to any... B and E. Aqueous hematite. Okay, what's that? Mars is full of it. People think it's just garbage. But Percival and I, we've been working on some projects in the deep mines. Uh, okay. At least when he wasn't slaving away at his trade authority contract. But we stumbled on a way to make it useful and profitable. You give our research over to Octai at the Trade Authority, it should more than cover Percival's debt. That guy's always looking for an angle. Well, yeah. We were never able to finish the research. Spacers moved in and ran us out. Started setting up shop. Oh, so it's a tiny little favor. Just mind the mindful of armed rabble. But if you can clear them out, I can walk you through how to finish the research. Then you can give it over to the trade authority. They'll get folks working in the deep mines again. Jobs come back, I become a modern day folk hero. <laughs> then I don't have to sleep on an inflated spacesuit anymore. Great, great. So access to the deep mines can be found outside the city. It's not far, shouldn't even need to hop back in your ship. We'd set up right near the main drill. Taking out the spacer leader should get the message across to the rest of them to buzz off. Once you've managed that, phone up here on the comms panel, and I can walk you through finishing the research. Okay, so we, we can we can kill spacer, so we can we can actually go and do some crimes. Nice updates. Fifty credits. <laughs> Oops. Security training leadership pressing queries. Okay, let's Red Planet. Uh sky could be a bit more blue actually. From the real thing. Okay, it's another base. It is level space or so. Oh, that's a valuable.
bet there's more spacers ahead. They're probably behind too. Yeah, most likely. I'm looking for the lawgiver law that is actually uh, at sli slightly better than other. Hello? Oh, took care of the spacers, huh? Hmm? Good. Now to finish off the research, you're gonna need to collect a sample of hematite to run through the thresher. Grab a laser cutter and head back to the chamber where you came in. Once you've got a sample, thresher's the big machine in the next room. Okay, that's a space trucker home. Nothing, nothing interesting. So, I suppose it's it's time to loot and hey, what's this? Money. Uh, time to loot and finish the research. Oh, and okay, here's a cutter. Okay, that's an elevator. Long mining t tunnel. Drill base through. Was there something else? Do you now? Very well. Let me take a look at his... 
Hmm, that's not the number I remember. <laughs> Fifty great. Headquarters must have felt sorry for the old man. Here, his current balance. I expect this won't be a great hardship for you. <laughs> Fifty hmm. credits. Then I suppose that's that then. Dr. Walker's dead is officially no longer our problem. You have my thanks. Oh, and if you do find him, please let Percival know I'm eagerly looking forward to never working with him again. Yep. Give Percival my best when you see him. You've got the slate. Let me see. Reduced joint wear? Oh, increased lifting capacity? A dose of this stuff could make a miner way more efficient. This formula's got to be worth at least as much as whatever Percival owes. I think okay. it's more than so 50 credits. You know. Tell Octai and the Trade Authority you found a business proposal that will make miners more efficient, higher yield, synergy, you know, all that business crap. And that you'll trade it to him for clearing Percival's debt. You good at doing pitches and stuff like that? Yeah. Did you now? Fine work. My end of the bargain then, I suppose. He's holed up in the old Red Devils HQ. Well, why not? The place was sealed up tight after the UC shuttered our unit. But we snuck him in the back entrance through the deep mines. Was also going to warn you about spacers down there. But it sounds like you might have already tossed those drakes. Yep. Here. The passkey. I'll let him know there's someone he owes one hell of a thank you on their way down. The three waste room access key found. Okay, that's the place we found. That's a hidden base. Defin definitely. So is this the pa place they keep kept terror morphins, uh, terror terror morphs, or other uh, the xen xeno specimen scene? just to do me a favor. Now you want to explain to me why you're going around harassing the various old men by wiping away their hard-earned debts? Adrian sent you. She's... Did, did she look okay? Sounds like Adrian. Watch that woman lose a digit trying to get a better tissue sample. What? You can reattach a finger, Percy. So what exactly did she have you bring me? Terramorph attack, huh? Not exactly sure why you'd be bringing that... Wait, Tau Gourmet? Like, Tau Seti Tau Gourmet? That's a joke, right? There's no settlement old enough on Tau Seti to have a Terramorph. No, he's... Either someone's setting up the worst petting zoo in the universe, or... If she made you come all the way for this... Let's get inside. I need to see these cells. <laughs> 